Well, hello survivors, it's time to review some of the recently released console footage of Alpha 22. Definitely great to be getting this from the Funpims courtesy of the recent PAX East exhibition. This is running on the PlayStation 5 as opposed to the previous PlayStation 4 version. Starting off, if you have played or seen the old console version, it's clear that this is a huge improvement. It definitely looks almost identical to the PC version with changes to allow, for instance, controller being the main input medium as opposed to keyboard and mouse. Zombies, buildings, PIs, weapons, art decoration, sounds, and so on look to be pretty much the same. This definitely is in line with the Funpims have said that console and PC should be the same version, which means the same PIs and everything. However, we also need to keep in mind that the console is not equivalent to a high-end PC, at least not anymore. Settings of various kinds will differ, such as graphic settings, being tuned to what the console can comfortably handle while still having acceptable FPS and performance. Now there are other settings that will differ that are not specifically graphical settings or even functionality settings, but things like it will be 4 player co-op, much like the existing console version, not 8 player. Map size will start off as 8k maximum. There will be no dedicated servers for console players initially. And unfortunately, crossplay will only come in down the line. Now, of course, there has been some worry that the console version will be sort of a stripped down PC version, but Roland has been addressing this on the forums as well, that he doesn't see that happening, even though he talks about that limit of 8K maps initially, and it's gonna be some force configuration settings, four player maximum initially, and so on. And I think this is reasonable. There will be some limitation for console, even though, of course, they will look at how can they minimize them and even remove them when they are no longer needed in the future. I think this is a reasonable approach and I am bringing up to 8 player co-op and cross play with PC along with dedicated server access will be good because I think a huge issue with playing on console will be for the one hosting the session as that means the console needs to run not just the session but also the client side and the view that the player is having and of course managing all the connecting players. Being able to connect to and play on a dedicated server even if it's just a server running on a PC on the same LAN should have some immediate performance benefits. Furthermore, I suspect that this will change or eliminate the 8K map size limitation because with the client connecting to a server it doesn't have to run and manage the whole map internally. So hopefully that is something that can happen in the future. One concern I have in watching the footage is that even PC clients can suffer from performance issues during Blood Moons unless they're sufficiently high-end PCs. Will this be an issue on console? Will you even be able to boost the concurrent zombie count up from the default 8 to 16, 32 or more to really make it a horde game? It is unknown at this time how that impacts performance and thus whether it is enabled. This is an early 7 day horde that is being shown and the player does have an assault rifle but even with such a basic cobblestone entrance fortification there is just no danger with a handful of zombies attacking only except of course for when zombies climb in through other entries. Still the game does look fully functional and a huge improvement over the now 8 year old console version. Well done Funpims. While I'm not playing on console myself I am happy how the game has finally made it to the console. Again, coming this summer on console. Well, the question now, is it northern or southern hemisphere that summer refers to? We'll find out.